Jared Hutch's story is that of an impoverished kid's violent journey from the ghetto to the top tier of organised crime as he graduated up the ranks of the underworld. From teenage car thief, burglar and one of the youngest armed robbers in the country to become what is referred to in mafioso parlance as a man of respect. In 1982, at the age of 19, Hutch was arrested along with his mentor, the veteran crime boss Eamon Kelly, in connection with one of the first gangland murders to take place in Dublin. The subsequent Garda report into the case revealed the growing stature of the young up-and-coming gangster, who, it said, had access to a range of weaponry and would not hesitate to use them if confronted. It's quoted as saying, Although of tender years, Gerard Hutch is much respected and feared by the criminal element on account of his previous exploits and violent disposition. He is full-time involved in the organisation of major crime. Gerard Hutch was released from prison for the last time in May 1985 and he swore that he would never do time again. On the outside, he gathered a group of friends around him, which became the most successful armed robbery gang in the history of the state. Together, they robbed the equivalent of over 14 million euros in today's value. Hutch eventually paid a 1.3 million pound tax bill to the Criminal Assets Bureau, but remained a multi-millionaire. After that, he retired to live in the sun, but the sins of the younger generation were about to change all that. The monk's volatile nephew, Gary Hutch, had organised a hit on his one-time close pal and boss, Daniel Kinnahan, in Marbella in August 2014. The attempt was an unmitigated disaster, with the would-be assassin shooting an innocent man completely by mistake. The finger of suspicion quickly landed on Gary Hutch, and he was held prisoner while the crime boss investigated his near miss. It was at the insistence of Daniel Kinnahan and his father, Christy Sr., the dapper Don, that Jerry Hutch was dragged into the negotiations to save his nephew's life. A peace deal was hammered out, which, in return for Gary's life, included a payment of compensation and the punishment shooting of the suspected gunman. In the end, the agreement was nothing more than a ruse by Daniel Kinahan, who was waiting for the most opportune moment to take his revenge and renege on the deal. That came in September 2015, when Gary Hutch was executed at his apartment complex in Estepona. The increasingly tense situation between the Hutches and the Kinnahans reached boiling point on New Year's Eve in 2015 when two hitmen were dispatched to the island of Lanzarote to kill Gerard Hutch. But his legendary instincts for trouble paid off and he slipped the net. The die was cast. Jerry Hutch and his gang exacted their revenge on a storm lash Friday evening on the 5th of February 2016 when a five member hit team stormed a boxing weigh-in that was taking place here in the old Regency Hotel in Drumcondra in North Dublin. The plan was simple, wipe out Daniel Kinahan and his top associates in one fell swoop. But in the chaos that ensued, the mobsters escaped with the exception of gang member David Byrne, who was shot dead. Jerry Hutch had established a new inauspicious record for the most audacious attack ever seen in Irish gangland history. His terrorist-style offensive elevated him to a much higher level of notoriety than ever before, and the attack made headlines right across the world. But after the chaos had subsided and the cordite fumes had dissipated from the lobby of the Regency Hotel, the monk had to face the realisation he had lost the biggest gamble of his life, and the world as he knew it was about to implode. You can read exclusive extracts from my new book, The Life and Crimes of Ireland's Most Enigmatic Gang Boss, only in independent.ie and the Irish Independent.